Closer. There we are. Excellent. Hi, good evening. How are you? I'm doing well. Thank you very much for asking. I could definitely tell you were asking. Uh, this is the Years for Games channel. My name is Jacob Burgess. I am uh, part of Years for Games, the director of operations, uh, to be exact. And this evening, we're going to be checking in World of Horror. Um, yeah, this is actually... Um, hmm... Oh, talking is still too quiet to hear. That's right, I had to turn it down. <laughs> there we go. How's that? Better. Okay. All right. Excellent. Much louder. Kind of peaky. Okay. Let's turn that down a little bit. Do, 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 do. Okay. Excellent. All right. That should be much, much better. Only when I was leaning into the mic, eh? All right. Excellent. Cool. Marvelous. Hi. Hello. Uh, let me do that again. Hi. Jacob. Yisbert Games. World of Horror. Audio levels are good. Hi. How are you? Me? Good. Great. Excellent. Pumpkin. I'm good at this. Good evening, everybody. Uh, so, <laughs> so what? Uh, yeah, welcome to the channel. It's Tuesday. Um, uh, we're going to be playing some World of Horror tonight uh, because it is this, our beautiful, beautiful month of Halloween. I am uh, wearing orange uh, as, a, uh, uh, as a nod to that. I have brought my my very favorite mug uh, that I only bust out for Halloween. Uh, my water bottle is bright orange. Fucking love Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I see a lot of new uh, names in the chat, which is fantastic. I... Great. Um, so, uh, you'll notice behind me... Um, uh, we got some World of Horror that we're going to play. Uh, but this here, um, in case you didn't hear, uh, in World of Horror, uh, there's going to be a Halloween patch uh, with some new content and stuff, things like that. Um, not going to tell you what it is, but, but, I mean, one of the things that I can tell you is, at the very least, uh, this is one of the new very bright color palettes that's coming out. So what we're doing this evening is we're checking in with, uh, we're going to do a couple of runs. Uh, we're just going to go through and die. See some of the new content that came out in the never-ending summer and some of the quality of life updates and things like that. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, there's um, there's going to be some cool stuff. Uh, Brand Chan said, yes, here because I love World of Horror. Excellent. And I'm here because I love you, Brand Chan. Uh, so we're going to be checking out some of that stuff. Uh, we're going to go through and go through some of the content that I haven't even gotten a chance to play yet. Um, for those of you that um, may not know, I... Um, uh, although I write horror, I do some writing, you know, for tabletop and things like that, uh, personally. I've, I've written for Vampire the Masquerade and Wraith the Oblivion and, and Love the World of Darkness and things like that. And, uh, 
Um, uh, I don't deal well when horror is presented at me, but this is exactly the kind of horror that I like. Creeping Dread, the macabre, uh, one or two jump scares uh, in there every so often. Uh, but right at the top, we've had some subscriptions, which is fantastic. Let me just uh, go on back. Uh, Gekyoru has subscribed uh, for 14 months. Thank you very, very much uh, for that support and doing absolutely uh, an amazing job with your jokes and your puns uh, and for being a member of our Discord. Uh, glad we're uh, has subscribed and has done so for six months. Uh, woo, half a year here and no regrets to speak of. Well, relevant to the stream channel at least. Uh, <laughs> eBlock has subscribed and has done so for five months. This game is great and so are you, Jacob. Thank you very, very much. It is greatly, greatly appreciated. Uh, for anybody that... Um, uh, Gsub says there's a layer of removal from the horror along with the top tier world building that makes World of Horror a winner for me. Thank you. Um, knowing a lot of the behind the scenes stuff, uh, Yisper Games, in case you don't know, is the publisher for World of Horror. And uh, uh, knowing some of the behind the scenes stuff, um, uh, it's some. Um, there, there's a lot of good things coming. Um, yeah, and especially some of the stuff in the Halloween update. Uh, um, Poznots. Uh, Pos Polish. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, pants. Um, the developer is uh, Ponstas. 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 Sorry. Uh, has a lot of really good things coming down and has been working really, really hard. Uh, the Never Ending Summer update is uh, apparently absolutely fantastic. I know what's in it, but I actually haven't played through it. So, um, yeah. Uh, something else that I'm excited about, not just Halloween is that we have a, uh, on our Discord, uh, which is discord.gg backslash is for games, uh, we've got a contest that's going on until the 25th, which is a, uh, a pumpkin creation contest, pumpkin carving contest, pumpkin crafting contest, uh, being run by, uh, we, the Isward Games, had nothing to do with it. Two of our community members, Gladier and Ocelot, put it together and are actually making some handcrafted prizes, asked us if they could run the contest through the Discord, and we said, fuck yes, you can. Uh, our, the name of the company means spirit for the love of fuck. So, yes, please do that. And they're making some cool handcrafted prizes. There's a number of categories. All the rules are in the Pumpkin Crafting Contest channel on our Discord. I'm going to be participating even though I have recused myself from any of the prizes. And this some bitch, uh, well, this some bitch and I are going to have a real good time tomorrow night. Uh, I've got that time set aside to get my stuff together so that I can get my, uh, um, uh, get my, uh, get my entry in on Thursday. I'm very fucking excited. You and I are gonna have a good time, aren't we? Yeah, we are. I will fuck you up. <laughs> awesome. Uh, cool. Uh, I think that's what we got. Let's play some World of Horror. Um, also, if you're interested uh, uh, to keep an eye on if you like World of Horror, chances are you're gonna like a lot of the other games that we've published. Such as Valhalla, Masquerada, Y2K. Uh, you can check us out at yisrit.net. Uh, cool. Neo Silver Wings. I've seen that name before. Uh, says World of Horror is unironically one of the best games of recent years. Works on many different levels. Yes, it goddamn does. Let's get to it. Move my microphone away just a little bit. Okay. No, it's fine. It's fine. You're going to be okay, Jacob. You're going to be okay. You're going to be fine. You're going to be fine. You're going to be okay. You're going to be all right. Fuck, let's do it, okay. Also, please keep in mind that World of Horror, while it is available on uh, um, uh, Xbox Game Pass for PC and also for uh, Steam, it is an early access. So we may encounter a couple of bugs or some such tonight. That just might be a thing that's going to happen. And I'm letting you know that. <laughs>
see, I set this up like two minutes before the stream, tested it, and then uh, all of my settings were set when I started the stream because Turn that up just a little bit. Yep, I can lower it just a bit. Thank you very much. There we go. Cool. Cool. All right. Cool. Everybody says perfect. Fantastic. You're perfect. This game is fucking perfect. Uh, and if you're new, throw us a follow. We're a damn good fucking time. Join the Discord. It's fun. I mean, I'm biased. I started and helped to grow the Discord and things like that. And, you know, all the numbers and stats make me look amazing. But, uh... I think it's a damn good time. I think you would, too. Okay, let's switch her on over. PC game scene. Uh, also, um... No spoilers. Like, no story spoilers. I like to try to experience things as organically as possible. Uh, but if you want to help with the game... I'm totally cool with that. Like, we are 110% not... <laughs> like, let me try to figure out any puzzles or anything on my own, but, like, I'll call for help. I got... I'm not proud. <laughs> Alright, let's start the new story. Ooh! I do like the classic black and white, though. What I do... Ooh, that's dusty. Ooh, that's not bad. Well, let's play it in stunning 2-bit. Hmm. No thank you. Not bad. Kinda want to. <laughs> Ooh, that's very fuchsia. Hmm. Do we look into the fuchsia, or do we go right past? Hmm. Well, all right, we'll just go with the, uh, we'll go with the teeth-colored one. All right. Uh, let's see. Spine chilling tutorial, school scissors, extracurricular activity. Hmm. 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 You know what? Actually, I haven't done a customized playthrough. But it's also hard. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Difficulty options. Ooh. Normal, easy. Oh, wow. Okay, that's new. I haven't seen those yet. Death mode last stand. Starting new encounters will kill you if you drop below one stamina and reason, but you can drop to minus five in combat. This option will allow you to rethink your strategy, forget spells, or use a healing item. Ooh. Ooh. Neo Silverwing says go for custom will help. All right, fuck it. Ooh, shit. <laughs> Awesome. <laughs> a lot of people think the customized playthrough is a great idea. World of Horror base game. Card pack containing everything you need to play this one-bit horror investigation game. World of Horror Unlockables. Contains all cards you've, un uh, cards you've unlocked through achievements. I mean, want to do that, yeah. World of Horror More Students. Contains, contains four additional, additional four skins for random student allies. World of Horror Extended ABC Unlock While Playing. One of the core ideas behind World of Horror is modularity, allowing you to mix and match various card packs with different content. Simply select card packs you want to be included and continue by pressing the arrow button at the bottom. Alright, well, I think I'm pretty good. Boop. One last thing. A tall man left a suitcase for you this morning. He said you will know the password. I wonder what could that mean? Ooh. Randomized seed. Cool. I haven't actually seen this before. Excellent. Let's do it. 
Fuck it. <laughs> City of Shiokawa, Japan, 1980X. Something strange is happening to our town. Rogue figures can be seen gathering in the woods at night. People are going missing. Disgusting creatures are terrorizing the seaside. The rapid technological progress of the modern era brings comfort, but also new unknown threats. Old gods, malicious eldritch beings who ruled the earth eons ago, are awakening reality starts to crumble. Armed with clues, spells, and your dwindling sanity, you'll investigate mysteries across the city and in realms beyond. I like realms beyond. It's better than realms within, really, I think so. I mean, who wants to do any introspection nowadays? The old train, an old train slows down and stops at its last station. The end of the world is at hand, and you finally arrived in the Doom Town. Customized playthrough by choosing character background. Fantastic. Well, Neo Silver Wings, you said you'd help. Help. <laughs> Alright. So, Kyrie, could the ghost following her be in any way connected with all the weird events happening in town? Plus knowledge minus strength starts with one random spell. That's pretty cool. No. Aiko Takahashi, 18 female, barely surviving after a ghost of a drowned man kept her underwater. She is determined to solve this mystery. Plus dexterity minus knowledge starts with a combat speed bonus. Ooh. Let's consider, says, wait, there was an update to this game? Uh, a lot. A big, big old, big old update. Uh, Neo Silver Wings, if you want to go strong, pick the strong girl that attacks faster or the big boy with the cigarettes. Got it. Uh, Enfy's book just subscribed and has done so for 17 months. Yay, new username is pronounced Enfis, vaguely like emphasis, minus a syllable with an N in place of an N. Understood. Yep. Excuse me. Uh, she attacks faster, that's pretty great. Name, Haru, 25-year-old male. Robbing that old abandoned manor was a mistake, but his friends dead and mutilated in a vengeful horror chasing him. No speed is too high. Plus strength minus knowledge starts with cigarettes. Screaming Cat 125 says Haru, best character. Everybody's got their husband or waifu. Uh, teen idol, uh, Mizuki Hamasaki, 18, female. What a strange world we live in. We're stopping an ancient evil is the easiest way of boosting your career. <laughs> Plus charisma minus strength starts with a random ally. And Koji Tagawa, 19 male. They say a picture is worth a thousand words. The government won't sweep this one under the rug. Plus perception minus dexterity starts with a camera. Well, I'm gonna go with Aiko, I believe. What's extra options? Ooh. Timeline, World of Horror, A. Timeline A. Timeline choice determines the choice of available additional actions and changes in both mysteries and endings. Use character exclusive perk cards. An increased chance of encountering mysteries you have not completed yet. Don't randomize the price and statistics of items you find and buy for this playthrough. Wow, very cool. Let's go with basic options. Alright. What's that? What's that do? That doesn't do anything. Okay. I really, really like this door knocker, and I kind of want it in real life. Oh, you don't have backgrounds yet. Oh. Whoa. Okay, classic mode. Old gods are awakening. Your only chance of survival is solving five different mysteries. The end of the world is at hand. Additional modes will unlock as you progress. Well, let's go. Somewhere, a group of people gathers, trying to awaken their master. Select the old god and click again to confirm your choice. Guizo, the thing forsaken by god. Oth, Yolash, the towering eye. Itholtu, the devouring fire. Thak Atorasu, the spider god. Hmm. I'm gonna go Goizo, the thing forsaken by god. That just sounds great. Banished to the other dimension a long time ago, Goizo has found a way to use mirrors to ensnare and teleport its prey straight through the glass. 
and the glimpses behind your reflections are just the beginning of a real nightmare. The Mad God favors astronomers and magicians, granting them its gift of power that unknowingly brings Athos Yoth's bloated body closer and closer to Earth. Cosmic gift. Casting spells costing reason increases doom instead. Ooh. This supposed cause of destruction of the Library of Alexandria, a perfect black marble statue, has been recently discovered and is currently awaiting in the Museum of Uru for its long awaited premiere. The terrible spider god is once again awakening from its slumber. Blighted by its impossible to satisfy hunger, it has started to tear down the walls of its cocoon prison. Eternal web, you can't run from combat. Ooh, damn. Casting spells costing reason increases doom instead. All right, let's try that one. Bronchon says, easy to do the telescope. All right. Uh, Eugene Shorts says, it's so funny to see people reading through everything and playing slowly. Meanwhile, I've played so much, I've got all the events and stuff memorized. Reborn Flame says, nice to see you play this again. It's nice to be playing this again. Well, nice, nice, it's nice. The Missing Stars. Media reports on various people with seemingly supernatural skills. Could it have any connection with the news about stars disappearing from the night sky? Old God's Rule. Casting spells raises doom instead of its normal cost. Backstory World of Horror. Character exclusive perk cards only. Nice. Cleaner UI here, which is really, really cool. Hell yeah. Ooh, mind drain. Oh, combat offensive. Deals three damage, costs two reason. Marvelous, 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 marvelous. Uh, Karoti said the last stream sold this game to me. Good to see more. Yep. <laughs> Sarah from Zero says the music in this game hits all the right notes for me. <laughs> uh, that's pretty good. All right, items, spells, status, allies, and perks. You. Old God. Options. Opponent. Shows. Alright, Stamina 17, Reason 17. Alright, let's do it. Sogheim says, oh hey, it's Jacob. Oh hey, it's Sogheim. Can't do anything with the... Oh. One of my favorite things is when you go to the lighthouse, the music slows down. One of my favorites. Alright, let's go home. Check your mailbox, it's empty. Back in your home, you think of your next move. You are not currently investigating any weird mystery. Recent newspaper clippings and notes collected in the next room should point you in the right direction. Choose an action. Well, I mean, the most important thing is customizing. Also, uh, you'll see Dana from Valhalla right up here, just as a little bit of an Easter egg. And we'll, uh... Inside the figurine, you find some money, plus one funds. Oh, it's definitely World of Fashion. Yeah, most, I, like, come on now. That's a nice movie poster. Sogheim subscribed and has done so for five months. You always get the name pronunciation right. Uh, there's the little treasure in here. Uh, Neo Silverwing says, remember, there's two little treasures to pick up at home. What's the other one? Open the cabinet under the window. Thank you. Oh, that must be new. I think I've opened that before and it hasn't done anything. Looking good. All right. So, Captain, Jim Close, Sock Holland, Teacher's Pet. Oh, I'm just going to have to go with Captain. I like the jacket. I like, uh, I like the pop collar kind of look to it. It's really good. Okay, I open the... Huh, weird, nothing happens. Hmm. Because, yeah, I guess it's... Uh... Gene Short says, Drawer has a 1 in 4 chance to give you nothing. Fantastic, a 1 in 4 chance. Feeling lucky tonight. Alright. <laughs> Take a peep through the people. I mean, yeah. Good. Good. Somebody's standing in the shadow, watching your door. Great. 
great, 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 great. Anything in storage? Nothing in storage. Okay, okay. Neo Silver Ring says, remember to take a bath for that 5 XP. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Warm water, small XP boost. Thank you very much. Neo Silver Wings, I appreciate that. Inexplicable and morbid events have been plaguing your town for some time now. You've marked down five of them, hoping that there is something connected. You can tackle these five mysteries in any order you want. Beware, your decisions will haunt you and influence yet unsolved mysteries. Another thing that I really like about this game, aside from everything about this game, is that the effects of this game happen on your character model. That is amazing. And you can get people seriously fucked up. Alright, what did we roll today? Far Out Fable of a Fear Festival. Vicious Verses, verses of a Violent Vigil. I've done Vigil before. Horrible History of Household Hell. I've done that one. Rotten Report of a Rancid Ramen and Macabre Memoir of Morbid Mermaids. Oh, boy. Neo Silver Ring says, don't start with an event in a special location. How do I know if it's a special location? Oh, a special location like the forest, like the festival, got it, okay. Yeah, something where you have to like pick where you're going in that mystery. Okay, so how about Rancid Ramen? How's that sound? Cool, 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 cool. I don't think I've done this one before. Oh, God. <laughs> the King in Green says, I love how all the case names are allit alliterative. I do too. Sarah Sorende says, I think we started the ramen one once, but it crashed or something, and we didn't see much of it. Thank you very much. Uh, also, huge shout out to Sarah Sorende, uh, our wonderful, wonderful mob. Mod. Mob? Yes, you're a mob. You are a multitude of people. A mob in and of yourself. Our mod. Rancid report. <laughs> Rotten report of a rancid ramen. Out of thin air, a brand new ramen restaurant opens in town. It's adored by everyone. But once people take a bite, they can't stop. Day and night, the queues stretch out the door. The shambling customers stuff themselves dish after dish, while the blind owner sits silently behind, behind the counter, grinning and polishing his gleaming knives. I actually just finished a ramen anime uh, called Miss Koizumi uh, Loves Noodles. It was very, very good. Uh, I don't think this is going to be like that. I somehow suspect. Yeah. Mm. Uh, JP14MS says, I think that's a finger on the plate. Oh, that right there. Yeah, look at that. That's probably just a sausage, though. Like, it's probably just a sausage. It's just a sausage. You're determined to discover what makes this ramen so enticing. What is its true power? Dog meat? Human meat? Flesh of the gods themselves? All right. Watching the local news, you spot a familiar street. It's a feature about the newest ramen shop. The food critic has a manic look as he describes the ramen. His description makes your stomach churn. Okay. Oh, village. Village, mansion, seaside, forest, hospital, school. You're already there. Travel the downtown. Dumpster dive. Discard two item cards to complete this quest. Alright. I don't know if I want to do that. But we need to go to the apartments to advance the case. Screaming Cat125 says, Are we going to equip ourselves or go in empty handed? Steven Willisart says, Oh hey, I plan to catch the start, but my computer thought it'd be fun to take 30 minutes to quit Baldur's Gate 3 and watch this stream whilst performing a very deep virus scan. <laughs> Um, you know what, uh, Screaming Cat? I'm feeling bold tonight. That's what I'm feeling. I'm feeling very bold. Oh my god, it's Halloween. I don't have candy.
the whole month is Halloween, by the way. Just, uh, and that's, uh, that's an inscrutable rule of Usward Games. October is Halloween. It's currently Halloween 20th. Um, hmm. Are we gonna go in empty-handed? We're going in empty-handed. Let's do it. Uh, Dips of Fever says, Does bold mean you're gonna punch Eldritch Horrors? Yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. Cool. Empty-handed. Investigate Apartments. <laughs> Some people are going like, are we doing a kick run? Fantastic. And then Bronchon just was just like, you should get a weapon. All right, I'll get a weapon. I'll get a weapon. Uh, Gene Short says, going to step out to get some work done. Best of luck with the run. Thank you very much, Gene. Uh, where, 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 please tell me, chat, those that are more experienced with this game uh, than I am, where should I get a weapon? Neo Silver Wing says, good old hammer at the hardware store. Okay. Travel to the seaside. Hardware store. Hmm. Cool. That's a weird looking dude. Carpenter hammer. It's hammer time. Every time you see me, the hammer's just so high. I'm dope on the floor and I'm magic on the mic. <laughs> Let's equip it. Don't forget to equip things. When you play this game, don't forget to equip things. I picked up what I thought was like a really cool katana at one point and was like, yeah, I'm gonna just kick some ass and then died because I didn't equip it. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. All right, let's travel to the apartments. Investigate the apartments. Um. Yes. Ah, oh, God, I love the little chibi. We actually we have some really cool pins on the Yusbrid store. Uh, Merch.yusbrid.net. We've got an old god pin and a uh, movie pin, which are really really cute. I have my movie pin here. No, I don't. Mm -hmm. da -da -da -da. More charcoal. Hmm. Visitor. Loud knocking wakes you up in the middle of the night. Open up, shouts the deep voice from behind the door. I know you're there. Hmm. Let's get closer to the door and ask what's the matter. Oh, that's not great. Hmm. Dex check failure. Before you can answer, the door's letterbox suddenly opens and an unknown invader tries to look inside. You lurch back in shock. The man sees you and tries to get in, screaming curses the whole time. A neighbor calls the police and the attacker escapes from your apartment building. Great. Well, that's things. Anyway, let's investigate the apartment again. As you prepare a bath, you think about all the possible leads so far. You're very tired, so maybe ice cold water is a good idea. Hot bath or cold bath? I say cold bath. Drink check, success. Ice cold water revitalizes you and you're ready for the investigation. Plus 10 experience. Resolve this event. The only true way to investigate is to get yourself get into the restaurant yourself. And then thus we advance once again. Vending machine. Wandering through an empty corridor, you find an old vending machine. You don't recognize the brands of soda inside, but you could really use a drink. 
What are we? How are we on funds? Well, we just bought a hammer. Hmm. 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 Feeling bold. I'm feeling bold. The taste seems a little odd, but you enjoy the drink anyway. Minus one funds. It seems that you are not the only one wanting to try for yourself. You stand in line for hours. Your questions fall on deaf ears, and you are shunned. Ugh. I hate a shun. Investigate downtown. Alarmed by the sound of glass breaking, you discover the corpse of a policeman lying in a pool of blood. It looks like someone or something tore out his throat. Steal his gun, check his wounds for clues, escape before more people arrive. We're here to investigate, not un investigate. Oh, some folks are saying to steal his gun, but that the gun has been nerfed. Hmm. I mean. Hmm. <laughs> Enfys Book says, uh, let's put the vest in investigate. Um, I want a gun. <laughs> hmm. Branch Hand says, I always check for wounds. Hammer is best. Huh. Well, cool. I, I like experience points, because I like perks. I like passive bonuses. Bonuses that I don't have to think about? That's Jacob's game. They didn't tear out his throat, but instead carved an occult symbol with something sharp. You try to remember the shape and escape before anyone arrives. The smell around the restaurant is overpowering. Grease, rot, and... Is that blood you can smell? Okay. Well, shop for items or go to the police station. Hmm, nah. Investigate the downtown. Old friend. You're pleasantly surprised to meet your old friend while waiting for a train. She's undoubtedly changed a lot since you've last seen her. These days, she's moderating a web forum dedicated to the paranormal. Maybe she knows something useful? Chat or invite for a coffee? You know what? Hmm. I like coffee. Ooh, uh, we have to go boop the dog, actually, as a matter of fact. In between conspiracy theories and Bigfoot sightings, you hear a worrying rumor about an old god slowly awakening to rule the earth once again. Could this be the reason for the recent horrific events? Fucking probably. Cost doom to enter? What's our doom? Where's the doom? Where's the beef? The doom is at 9%. You know what? We gotta go boop the dog, though. That's worth a little doom, right? It barks now. Yeah. <laughs> Surprise discount item. Exit without buying anything. All right. What a good boy. It's finally your turn to order. One ramen, please. The owner's grin widens. Moving company. It's been almost a year since a childhood friend moved away to another city. He left suddenly without even saying goodbye. In a recent letter, he apologized for the disappearance and asked you to remove the furniture from his flat because he wants to sell it. In the envelope, you find a key to his apartment. Help your friends. String check failure. While moving the wardrobe through the doorway, you take a wrong step and sprain your ankle. It's nothing serious, but you'll have a problem walking for a few days. The red bowl is pushed in your face. It's so crowded that you're forced to sit on the floor. 
that's such a good image. Like with this creepy ass bowl of ramen in a crowded, stuffy, greasy, dirty ramen shop. You have to sit on the floor. Investigate downtown. Gruesome altar. Seeing two chopped off heads, you can't help but wonder who's been preparing your food for the past week. Huh. Research occult notes, do nothing, or call the police. Research occult notes. <laughs> Knowledge check success. The notes lying nearby tell of, an ancient civil tell of ancient civilizations and unspeakable horror. You've managed to learn an incantation, but the horrifying image will stay with you for a long time. It's a good thing I didn't call the police, because they were already on their way. It would have been a wasted phone call. So I think we made the right choice. Plus one spell, minus one reason. Gain a spell. So I have Mind Drain and the Seal of Bramel. Plus one knowledge, discard on use, cost four reason. Ooh. Cast this spell, forget this spell. Ally Assault's Gaze, casting this doesn't cost reason. But it increases doom. Yikes. Plus one knowledge, though. Plus one knowledge, though. Plus one knowledge, though. Screaming Cat says, I'd say the Doom is not worth it. I would agree with that. Plus one knowledge, though. Plus one knowledge, though. Oh, Branch Hand says you will raise Doom and not use Reason. Ah, okay, cool. Yep, that would have been the more efficient choice. With a slick hand, you feel a vial. You fill a vial with the soup and walk out without tasting the weird dish. Current location, target location, investigate lab. I like how it gets more bloody as you go. Lab results. With the pulling of some delicate strings, you get the ramen into a lab. While handing over the gathered material, you hesitate. What should you send to the laboratory? Just the vial of ramen soup. Lab results partial. A mere day later, your friend rings your door. Her face is pale and in a shaky hand. She holds an analyst a analysis sheet. You usher her in and bolt the door. You feel ill looking at the charts. While they couldn't identify some of the particles, they did discover a highly addictive drug in the broth. The ramen restaurant must be closed immediately. Gex says, so this playthrough, you're the villain, clearly, since you're dooming everyone for no reason. Well, I am neutral. A week later, police and an official stand where the ramen restaurant used to be. Nothing remains but a gap in the street and aimless, confused customers. Ooh, it's rainy. The old god stirs. Click here to reveal its effect. Riots. Dangerous bands of rioters are gathering around, down, around downtown area. The police are hopeless. Ooh. Cool. Time to go home. Doom dropped a little bit. There is a key. Let's take that key. And let's immediately take a fucking bath. The shower will help you calm down and do wonders for your sore muscles. Actually, let's take a look. What do I need? I think I need reason. Ah, okay. Let's see. Extra stamina, small XP boost, extra reason. I mean, I went back up to 16. Which I think is fine. So I think I'm going to take the XP. 
Yeah, definitely. Okay, Screaming Cat says XP, definitely. All right. Uh, there we go. I guess we're just gonna go on to the next one. Let's see. Macabre Memoir of Morbid Mermaids. Horrible History of Household Hell. Vicious Verses of a Violent Vigil. Far Out Fable of a Fear Festival. I'm gonna go with Macabre Memoir of Morbid Mermaids. Macabre Memoir of Morbid Mermaids. The janitor was obsessed with mermaids. He's collected every scrap of the legend about them in the school basement. Now his mind is snapped. He's decided it's time to make use of his own, make one of his own, using unfortunate students' bodies as materials. Neo Silverwing says this one has a boss, and make like Scar, and be prepared. There's one thing everyone at the school is talking about. Another girl from your area has gone missing. Could there be anything connecting all the missing people? I should investigate downtown next. I will investigate the downtown. Suddenly, an empty bottle breaks in the wall behind you. You cover yourself from the glass fragments and notice a masked assailant holding a baseball bat. Huh. Fill the combat sequence white bar with combat moves and click the launch sequence to attack your enemy. Delete the last combat move. So last time... Last time I uh, used, I did a lot of uh, prepare your attack and then light attack. That seemed to do pretty well. Neo Silverwing. So the hammer has low accuracy, so you need to prepare attacks. That's what I thought. Okay. Prep attack, prep strong attack. Cool. Bap, bap, bap. Uh, bash the rider, minus four health. Rider hits me with a baseball bat. That stinks. Prep, prepare, strong attack. Prep, 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 prep. Show me what you got, loser. Prep, 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 prep. Oh, you can also save your sequence now. Oh, how do I do that? Oh. Combat sequence saved. Excellent. Ah. Wait, what's that? You found an item. Prescription. Nice. Investigate the seaside location twice to complete this quest. You got it. We're not too bad, I don't think. I think we can afford to do this. It's early on enough in the game, he said. Let's see a prescription. Where could you fill a prescription like this? Ah. There's got to be a place that has... Cool. Alright, well, let's investigate the seaside, and we'll do the side quest here. Uh, ScreamyCat125 says I'd put the prescription in storage. Ah, I see. Can't use it yet, says ScreamyCat125. People point and talk about a man on the other side of the street. He looks confused, muttering to himself, while occasionally touching a festering wound on his cheek. You stop in your tracks and listen to the man's cursed incantation. Fantastic, I got a spell. Multiply wound. Deals damage to an enemy, which increases the lower your stamina is. Nifty. But it, the cost is two stamina. There's a level up. Okay. So, Outdoorsman, Running Shoes, and Folklore Studies. Outdoorsman, plus one luck, attuned with the natural rhythm of life. Running Shoes, smaller doom penalty for running from combat. 
And plus one knowledge. Knowledge of various rituals and regional myths. Hmm. Hmm. I'm gonna go with Outdoorsman, I think. Outdoorsman and... I'm gonna go with Strength. And... Reason. Oh, it's Strength or Reason. Oh, no. Oh, no. So you can heal when you level up a little bit, or get a permanent boost to a stat. I'm going with strength because we want to be a glass cannon. All right, cool. Cool. Yeah, we'll go with a little luck. A lot of people are saying strength in chat. That's good. All right, let's investigate the seaside once again. Something pulls you towards the beach. A statuette half buried in the sand is calling you. Feeling your hands shaking, you take a step closer. Hmm. Ignore it or take it home? I mean... I mean, it's only a statuette, right? It's an Eldritch statuette? It's a statuette. Yeah, I'm sure it's fine. Take it home. The sp <laughs> <laughs> The statuette is surprisingly heavier than it looks. Mesmerized, you take it home and wonder where you'll display it. It's a bad idea. Fantastic. <laughs> I love... I love how it's a bad idea is... <laughs> is in all caps. That's lovely. You may be going crazy, but you can swear someone is watching you from the sea. Minus one reason. Mermaid sighting. Great. Asking around the neighborhood got you some results. It seems that all the girls have attended the same school. So what did that quest get me? Oh, she's looking tired now. I mean... Ah, uh, ScreamingCat125 says it gives extra XP at the end of the mystery. Thank you. You'd think I'd have more of this memorized because I help edit the patch notes. <laughs> You'd think I'd remember more of this. But apparently when I get in front of the game, I'm just like, oh, I like it, it's fun. And like, all knowledge just flies out of my head. Holy shit. Screaming Cat 125 says, don't worry, I've got 400 hours. Jesus Christ. That's bananas. Holy shit. Thank you so much. That is, that's, I, honestly, I'm impressed. A little worried, mostly impressed. Damn, that's awesome. Thank you very much for being here and thank you for your help. Alright, investigate school. <laughs> Screaming Cat125 says, worried? I help people with that info. <laughs> kind of my job now. <laughs> well, I appreciate you being here. Thank you. Uh, you find an old trophy case set in a seemingly abandoned corridor. Everything inside is covered in a thick layer of dust. One metal seems particularly valuable. Check plaques and trophies. Break the window to grab it. Needs tiny key. Let's just check. Luck check. Failure. Glad I got that outdoorsman. You find a small trophy with a curious plaque. Grand champion of the cannibal eating contest. 1956. Minus two reason. God damn it. All right, well, let's investigate the school again. All missing girls were apparently members of the school swimming team. Hey, maybe someone saw the kidnapper stalking them. You enter the art classroom. The room is cluttered with half-finished sculptures and bizarre masks hanging on the wall. One sculpture strikes you as eerily realistic. Yeah, let's check out the masks. I, I remember doing this one, I think. 
I do like how they're, this is a school card and at night. One mask looks similar to the design you once saw in an occult book. You decide to take it with you. There's all these events. You find a notebook containing handwritten and detailed notes about the swimming club itself and mermaids. Let's take a look at the ritual mask. Yeah! So we actually, uh, we made um, one of the influencer box when we did the uh, early access release. Uh, we did a full box of like Uzumaki and uh, some scissors and some ritual candles and things in there. And we actually had a professional baker bake cookies. Uh, and the box looked like the uh, briefcase at the beginning of the game. Um, and we baked cookies that looked like this ritual mask. Uh, also, if you uh, go onto our Discord, you'll see Vela from Y2K, one of our emotes that we have during Halloween, is Vela from Y2K wearing the, uh, the smiling uh, mask as well. Armor Occult. Small chance of ignoring reason loss in combat. Hell yeah. No downside to that shit. And the mask goes on the character model, which is fucking baller. All right, travel to Morbid School. Investigate Morbid School. Oh, and to put the prescription in storage. We'll do it after the fish heads. A nauseating stench stops you. Someone has scattered rotting fish guts everywhere and hung up countless fish heads. Fish heads, roly poly fish heads. Fish heads, fish heads. Eat them up, yum. You cover your mouth as you slowly retreat. A vast flock of seagulls outside viciously attack the windows. Minus one stamina, minus one reason. Uh, prescription. How do I put this in storage? There we go. Place item in storage. Whew. Whoever the kidnapper may be, they seem to be really obsessed about mermaids. Inside the science lab, you find a plan of the town's sewer system. Someone has marked a path leading from the sea directly to the school building. Cool. Reborn Flames Creepy Max Mask makes people keep their distance. Seems useful for social distancing. Let's investigate the downtowns. Walking through the park, you find a little girl crying alone in the playground. When you ask what's wrong, she says she can't find her mommy. Luckily, you spot the girl's address on a backpack lying nearby. <sighs> it's a horror game. Helping children never works out. Let's take her home. Let's... Oh, God. This, this is where this game really shines. Because you don't know... There's no informed way sometimes to make a decision with these cards. Hmm. I'm going to let the police handle it. You tell the girl to wait while you look for an officer. When you get back, she's gone. Minus one reason. Great. Well, good. Branchan says both kind of suck. <laughs> All right. There's something wrong here. A weird apathy seems to infect every adult you ask for help. You'll have to deal with it alone. I like how this is changing. That's great. Investigate downtown. Good God, just reason is getting wackadacked. Something is wrong. You don't see anyone in the street. You could have sworn it was crowded just a minute ago. You better hurry out of here. Yeah, that's creepy as shit. You compare the sewer plan with a school map and it suddenly dawns on you. School basement. That must be the place the kidnapper is keeping missing swimmers. Uh, Neo Silverwing says, you either heal or go for a bad ending. Well, we're gonna see where we end up. Travel to the school. Investigating corridor. You're stopped by a girl you haven't seen in months. But how could you? She died in an accident. Stalker girl. Fantastic. 
Good, 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 good. Well, looks like it's going to be our regular sequence there. I wonder, can I fit two strong attacks in here? Hmm. Nope. We'll start with it. All right, fine. We'll start with the strong attack. That's a really nice art, though. I like her hair. That's a good haircut. You bash stalker girl, and she scratches you. Six and four. Hey, all right. Wait, what? Wait, what's that? Occult diary. Ooh. Let's resolve the combat. Occult diary. Book occult personal use minus three percent doom. We're just going to use that shit right now. There's no turning back now. God, let's hope she is alright. Investigate the morbid school. School basement. You bust through the door to the janitorial closet, but it's already too late. The, missing, the latest missing girl is lying on a dirty mattress. The upper part, at least. A tail of a fish has been crudely sewn in place of her legs. She was too weak and died, you hear the mad janitor say. He looks you up and down. Maybe you'll do. Well, gross. Yeah, the implications here, like without actually being terrible and showing it, that's a really elegant way to do that. Stepping carefully over a corpse, the janitor picks up the bloody ass. X. The bloody ass. I'm just beating you with a bloody tushy. Well, <clears throat> well, we've got three reason. Hopefully, this is mostly a physical fight. Check also other actions. Current time multiplier is zero nine. Lower multiplier means that actions will take less time. Support actions, current time multiplier. What do we got? Yep, those support actions. Find a weapon. This action requires an ally. Combat skill. Ooh. Time needed 40. One time to one time use doubles all damage dealt during this turn. Defensive actions. Topple a lamp. Story action. Spark from the broken bulb should set the highly flammable cleaning fluids on fire. Not bad. Force manhole open. Without tool. Story action. Try to open the manhole cover present in the janitor's office. Yeah, I'm gonna go with burn this place to the ground. Yeah. Yeah, let's... Let's just burn it all. Yeah, fuck this school. <laughs> Burn it all down. <laughs> Fuck this place. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Fuck it. Escape. Fire and water. Suddenly, the mutilated girl moans quietly and twitches. The fishtail causes the lamp to fall and break, igniting the chemicals. Mad Janitor catches fire and starts screaming terribly. You try to avoid him thrashing around the room, setting everything on fire. Thick smoke and the smell of burning flesh makes you feel weak. You are rescued by the firemen trying to contain the fire. No trace of the Mad Janitor is found, and no one believes your story, but you will sleep a little bit better tonight knowing that the other students are safe. Macabre Memoir of Morbid Mermaids, Ending C. Reward for solving this mystery. School fire. New town status. Nice. Nice. Knowledge is key. Plus 30 XP. Through investigation. Plus 15. There's still hope. Minus 3 doom. Minus 3% doom. Tireless. Plus 1 reason. Minus... Uh, plus 1 reason in stamina. Time passes. 1 day. Nice. And you've received a new injury. Burn. Nice. The old god stirs. Fetid fumes. The air feels heavy, making it hard to breathe. 
A new achievement has been unlocked. Nice. So, town status. Riots. Yep. Dangerous rioters? School burned down. While classes will continue in an old wing, no student will gather. Oh, so no allies. Nice. Okay, cool. Fetid fumes. The air is heavy, making it hard to breathe. Your rest action is less effective. And Branchan says, too bad you don't have the school scissors mystery also. Oh, well, cool. I, I, that probably affects it. Very nice. And let's find out what the hell that status does. Allies, perks. Nope. Ah, status. Burn. Ooh, injury minor. You receive additional combat damage. Fun. Well, let's go home and take that key. Ah, there's the statue. Great. <laughs> Back in your home, you think of your next move. You are not currently investigating any weird mystery, blah, 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 blah. I think I need some reason. Absolutely. It's bath time. Cold water. Thank you very much. Okay. Woof. It's a nice statue. It's good. Neo Silver Ring says you can heal the wound to the hospital. Okay, cool. Um. So, if I take the prescription to the hospital, I have one funds. I assume you trade it in for something. Yeah, you know what? At the in the next mystery, we're gonna go. Uh, uh, we'll go to the hospital if we have the uh, if we have the idea or if we have a chance. Uh, Screaming says Screaming Cat says you can't use it yet because I need more funds. Got it. Okay, cool. Prescriptions just for an achievement. There seems to be some confusion over what the prescription does, unless I'm not understanding, which is entirely possible. Um, also. All caps is not necessary. I can read lowercase just fine. Thank you very much, Screaming Cat. Choose a mystery to investigate. Horrible history of household hell. Vicious verses of a violent vigil. Far out fable of a fear festival. Hmm. Well, horrible history of household hell. Let's do that. Horrible history of household hell. There are many old mansions around this town. Ooh, Manor is one of them. Supposedly haunted by the family of four who disappeared without a trace one summer. But it's only... But is it only the tragic event? Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> but is it the only tragic event that took place there? Let's investigate a dust mystery. Friends you've talked with are not sure where the mansion itself is located. You have to find the mansion first. A trip to the library may shed some light on it. If you got an investigation, you can shed some light on it. That's good. Okay. Investigate the seaside location twice to complete this quest. Well, I do want to try, I want to go to the hospital and see what we can do about funds, items, heal injuries. Let's see what we can do about healing injuries. You still have some time before you're asked to the office. Enter the doctor's office, move to corridor A, enter the pharmacy. Alright, let's enter the doctor's office, because I'd like to get this burn fixed. Emergency department is crowded as a direct as well of the weird things happening in your town. You're finally asked to the doctor's office. How can I help you do that? Click on the bookshelf, says Bronchon. Is that the bookshelf? Ah, there we are. <gasps> I stole some painkillers. <laughs> Stealing drugs. Uh, additional actions available on the injury card. You 
receive additional combat damage. Treatment minus one funds. Yep, let's do it. Yep, want to get that though. Look out. What's blood loss? Treatment. Minus 10 max stamina. Oh, fucking shit. Ah, well. You feel the skull is observing your every move. Cool. All right. So let's go to the seaside and we will complete this quest. Investigate the seaside. Face in the window. You can't shake the feeling that those small dock buildings hide some terrible secrets. Plus two doom fantastic. Resolve this event. Investigate the seaside. Crabs are feasting on a bloated corpse carried to the beach by waves. Oh, I remember this. This is a uh, dex check. We've got pretty high dex, though. We've got high dex. And I think we get a good thing. I'm going to search the body. Excellent. Dexterity check success. Inside the man's pocket, you find documents. They're all strangely dry. Did the man really drown, or was he brought here? Plus 10 XP. Excellent. Mermelion has subscribed and has done so for 14 months. Thank you very, very much. You've learned the, cl uh, you've learned the cliff the mansion was built on is famous for its extensive cave system. You've decided to rent some books that might help you. Ooh. Books. Chiokawa Herald A. Available actions. Inspect. The, an article covers a group of scientists from Tokyo. They were exploring and mapping weird cave formations found in the cliffs. The search of the missing team of scientists continues. The only clue so far is a code written on the cavern wall. 424 Hertz. 424 Hertz. I'd appreciate it if somebody could remember that for me, because my memory is... shit. I'm sure chocolate will help, though. Oh, no. I spilled some chocolate on my desk. I'll be right back. Nothing like a little desk chocolate. Architect's Journal. One house owner, however, decided to make use of the cave tunnel. It's a natural concert hall, he claims. And now he's singing with the fishes. And painkiller. Inspect. Be careful not to overdose on these. Addictive medicine plus two stamina. All right. Well, if I get messed up. Travel to that school. The one we burned down. Investigating schoolyard. You stumble upon the computer room. This is a good opportunity to check the school's database to look for anything that might help your investigation. Uh, Rusty Knight IE says, Hey, how goes your day and the game? The game goes well. My day? Exemplary. Now that you're here. <laughs> but seriously, it's really cool that you all are hanging out with me for this. Um, Halloween is my absolute favorite time of the year, so this is fucking delightful, and I'm dressed like a fucking pumpkin, so. You stumble upon the computer room. Let's see, check it out or save it for later. I don't know, I'm... <laughs> Branch Hand says, we burned the dark school. That's true. We all did. Um. I don't know. I think this is probably a knowledge check. I don't want to take more reason damage, though. I'm gonna leave it for later. I'm going to leave it for later. You can't waste time in front of the computer. Minus two stamina. Great, just took... Yeah, fucking fuck. fuck God damn it, game. Shit. All right, well. Time to go downtown. The building was supposed to be somewhere near the cliffs. You copied the mansion's photo from the newspaper and prepared to leave. 
Clanky Lily says brutal. You goddamn right, that's brutal. Jesus. Uh, Yatsu Hakamura. It's getting dark as you arrive at the cemetery, and shadows move in fantastic and unaccountable ways between the tombstones. Finding the right grave may prove to be a challenge, especially when you feel someone's gaze on your back. Uh, Reborn Flame says, happy to feel like I have company on here. You absolutely do. Thank you for being here. Uh, woke up tonight choking and needed a distraction to the stream. It was a perfect time for me. We are very happy to be a perfect time for you. Me and Mr. Pumpkin. It's the only time Mr. Pumpkin's going to make an appearance here. Uh, technically it's Kabosha, but it's still in the Pumpkin family. And uh, I'm going to fuck this pumpkin up tomorrow. Uh, because we have a, a pumpkin crafting contest on our Discord by Glad also a lot I mentioned at the beginning of the stream, but it's on our Discord. The channel's definitely worth checking out. It's going to be a hell of a lot of fun. Uh, what the fuck do we do? Confront the stranger, continue looking, run in terror. Hmm. Running is just minus reason. Well, I don't want to run, then. Hmm. Okay, let's continue looking. Perception check, failure, fantastic. You can't seem to find the right tombstone and waste a lot of time before finally admitting defeat. Damn it. I do have spells that I can forget, as a matter of fact. Mind Drain uh, deals three damage, costs two reason. Yeah, I'm gonna forget that. And Multiply Wound. You know what? I'm gonna keep that as a last ditch, like, oh fuck. Let's take a chance. <laughs> Travel the seaside. Investigate the seaside. While walking on the beach, you spot a weirdly colored rock. It seems to be covered in some kind of black algae. Getting closer, you realize it's not a rock. Oh! It's called the Drowner Sponge. It needs another body now. Oh my fuck. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Neo Silverwing says time to run. Hmm. Hmm. So we can't kill it? It's too beefy? We should just go? We should go. Where is run? <laughs> Oh, Salkheim says two... Oh, yeah, okay, everybody's recommending run. We're gonna run. Where the fuck is run? Defensive actions? Fucking dodge. Brace for impact. Meditate. Run away! Hey, alright. Ends the encounter for a doom penalty. Fuck it. <laughs> Get the puck out. <laughs> You've successfully run from the Drowner Sponge. Cool. You make it through the window. This is the abandoned mansion your friends have talked about. Let's explore it. Great. 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 Out of funds. It's a bad time to be out of cash, says the grim-looking man who's standing in your way. Our company fortunately specializes in cases like yours and will gladly help you get back on track after all. He takes a step closer and you can swear there's a faint smell of rust about the man. Everyone has something to sell. Uh... Branch Hand says peace of mind. Let's go with peace of mind. Good. Plus 5% doom. The man smiles, handing you an envelope. You feel like you've made a huge mistake. Well, game, it was going to be a mistake anyway. You fucking did it. Resolve this event. All right. Click on a mansion's room to explore it. Ooh, so good. You've heard a weird noise coming from the locked study. You must find a key. Okay. I guess we'll just start at the top. The key to the study must be there somewhere. Investigating room. 
Daver Theater. Great. Corpses are strung up on a wire like macabre marionettes with painted smiles and rosy cheeks. Good. Resolve this event. Screaming Cats has put the... Oh, put the documents into storage. Chiacal Herald, Architect's Journal. Cool. Thank you very much. Walking through the forest, you spot a pair of legs sticking out of a bush. Before you can do anything, however, they twitch and move. No, oh, feed me, Seymour. Oh, that's a pitcher plant, too. That's even grosser. Man-eating plant. Well, fuck. Neo Silverwing says two-turn kill. Does that mean I have two turns to kill it? It will kill me in two turns... Screaming Cat 125 says you can kill that. Let's kill that. Fuck this guy. Cool. Mating Plant slaps you with a vine. Alright. Cool. You've defeated Man Eating Plant. Plus 10 XP. Boy, I need some rest. Keep looking for a key, fucking shit. Investigating mansion. Following the suspicious person, you enter an old rundown mansion room. It stinks like spoiled milk and has only two doors, one of which you came through. You can't see the strange man anywhere. Mm, I don't like it. Fucking leave through the other door? Ugh, fuck. God damn it, game. All right, good. Dex check. Good. Dexterity check success. Finding yourself in the corridor, you see the man vanishing behind a corner. Since you're catching up, he doesn't have the time to lock the door. You lose the man, but find occult books in the filthy room that are just as valuable. Gain a spell. Level up. Select a perk and a stat. Folklore studies plus one knowledge. Improved resting at home. And plus one perception. Oh, I think I might go with uh, improved resting at home. Thank you. Yeah. Knowledge and perception? Who needs it? I got a hammer. And a will to live. I think I might go with reason, though. Oh, you! I have weaker rest at home. I wonder if this will balance it out, though. Oh, and the both remaining mysteries won't let me do that. All right, well, cool, 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 cool. Well, okay, fine. Folklore studies. We'll do perception. Screaming Cat 125, Neo Silver Wings, Ranchan. Thank you all for your help this evening. Oh, God. Every choice has consequences, and it fucking sucks. Uh, I'm gonna go with reason. Uh, Rusty Knight IE says you could reroll perks, mayhap. We have 45 Doom and two more mysteries to get through. Probably not. Huh. I appreciate the advice, though. I truly do. All right, time to find the key. The investigation can wait. A hot bath is too inviting. Well, fuck. <laughs> I'm gonna want to take a bath. I want to take a bath. The bath sounds good. Now, well, fuck it. Let's take a bath. You bathe happily and continue with newfound strength plus one reason. Yes! Yeah, of course, we just said no to that perk. Right. Resolve this event. Well, let's just keep going down the damn list. Overgrown garden time. Ah, you find a heavy tome wrapped in moth-eaten black velvet in an old lock cabinet. When you remove the book's wrappings, you recoil in disgust. It's bound in human flesh. Let's just burn it. Everybody just says burn it. Burn it. We're burning it. <laughs> you never know what's... You may never know what's inside the hideous book. But that's a good thing. Minus three do. <laughs> Screaming Cat 125 says, 400 hours, always burn it. Resolve this event. 
This must be the place where the key is. Let's go to the house. Reading room. It looks like one of the previous owners of this mansion liked to read. Dusty tomes reach the ceiling. You don't have much time, but maybe you could spare some to look through the books. Check out the shelves, check out the table. You don't have time for this. Let's check out the table. Cool, cool. Knowledge check failure. The notes lying in the table look like the ramblings of a madman. While trying to understand them, you read a passage out loud. Nothing happens, but you suddenly feel watched. You leave the reading room quickly. Reading Rainbow. Investigating room. In the middle of the room, of a room, you see a man tied to a chair. You rush in to help. When you remove his gag, though, the man starts shouting curses and ancient prophecies. You fall on the floor, your mind flooded with unspeakable images, as the man slowly stands up, completely ignoring the chair he was seemingly tied to. Cool. My safe word is banana. Cult member. Let's get him. There we go. Wait, what's that? Curious statuette. Well, you know what? In for one statuette, in for two statuettes, I always say. Resolve combat. Curious statuette. Plus one knowledge while held in inventory. Fuck yeah, carry this bad boy around. Marvelous. Gonna make me go through the whole fucking house. You enter the art classroom? Fuck that. Check out the masks. <laughs> one mask looks similar to the design uh, you once saw in a cult book. You decide to take it with you, plus one item. Kendo helmet. Small chance of ignoring stamina loss in combat. Oh, the kendo helmet doesn't, uh, change. Huh. I'm gonna keep the mask and sell this one, actually. Yep. Cool. Excellent. Neo Silver Wings, thank you. Very good advice. And, of course, it's the last fucking room. Study room. You aren't sure what to expect. The sturdy door to the study opens with a creak. The dark, dusty room is empty, but something feels wrong. A faint draft, perhaps. You move the rotten carpet aside to reveal a secret passageway cut directly into the cliff rock. Make your way down. Ah, <sighs> Boy. Following the strange song, you discover a hidden passage that leads you to an underground chamber connecting to the sea. You can't find the source of the sounds, but then it hits you. The acoustics of this place make the waves sound like the most beautiful serenade. Mesmerized, you step closer to the stone altar at the end of the room. I don't like that it looks like an eye. Also, you don't have a light source, so... Whoops! Okay, great. Let's step closer. Unholy chants coming from the caves, connected with the mansion, must have driven the family insane. With no connection to the outside world, they fed on what they had, themselves. However, this doesn't explain the fresh corpses and wet tracks around the altar. Horrible history of household hell. Rewards for solving this mystery. Plus 30 EXP, plus 15, minus 3 doom, yes, plus 1 reason, stamina, and time passes one day. All right. Old God stirs, cut off from the outside world. The whole town stopped receiving any outside signal. It must be the radio mast failure. God damn it. Take the key. Okay. Well, it's bath time. 
what do I need the most? Uh, Neo Silver Ring says you can heal at the festival. That is good. I actually need stamina this time. Good enough. If I can heal at the festival, I feel like maybe I should do the Violent Vigil. And then if that fucks me up, then I'll have a chance to heal at the festival. That's my strategy. That's what I think is going to happen. Yeah, what do you all think? I'm going to have some water. Oh. Screaming Cat says, either is good, really? Well, then it's vicious verses of a violent visual. That's what we're doing. Vicious verses of a violent vigil. You've received an official looking letter. What does a law firm from Tokyo want from you? We regret to inform you of the passing of our client and your grand uncle. His funeral will be preceded by an overnight vigil as per the client's request. There's an address and the list of people expected to arrive. You don't recognize any of the names. Intrigued, you decide to check it out yourself. What's the worst thing that could happen? Neil Silverwing says, let's try to get the cool ending. All right, I'm, I'm at your disposal. Help me get the cool ending. Following the directions from the letter, you slowly fight your way through the overgrown forest path. The old mansion looks like it was torn down and rebuilt many times, but where is everybody? Oh. Available actions. Explore mansion, apparently. You've run into Twisted Reflection. Oh, look at that pretty goblin. In the mirror, you catch a glimpse of something that shouldn't be there. Plus two doom. I mean, I've gotten A and C. Those are the two that I've gotten. It takes you some time, but finally you manage to find some. Is that another guest? You should ask them what's going on in here. Four actions on the right allow you to investigate the location and interact with it. 9 p.m., 8 hours until dawn. Talk with the guy. Talking with the guy. A muscular man is eyeing you as you take a step towards him. You can't help but notice a deep scar going across his cheek. Old man's body's in the master bedroom. Go in there if you want. All right. So do I, exp I explore again now, if I remember. A sudden growl coming from behind a corner makes you stop. Cool. Rumo Ghost. There's a thing, there's a clappy ritual to hurt the ghosts, right? Yeah, Neo Silverwing says if it's a ghost, you'll probably need to run. Okay, but ghost. <laughs> Defensive actions, run. Run away, got it. Cool. <laughs> Bye, ghost. Don't mess with Rumu at this point. Good advice. Don't fuck with Rumu. I'm gonna get that tattooed on my chest. Pressing a handkerchief to your nose, you enter the dark room. There's no way they allowed your granduncle to just lie here. What was the correct bow and clap order? Maybe other guests will know. All right, I need to get the pamphlet. Now, pamphlet from the other guests. A pair is standing next to a window. The man is muttering something to himself, while his wife is observing you with her naturally bulgy eyes. You didn't get this with a letter? Here, you can have mine. Vigil pamphlet. Pray over the body, bow, 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 bow. Okay, cool. Back to the master bedroom. Okay, four bows. Good. I did four bows. Now inspect. Okay. 
Look at his foot. I copy it, copy it into my pamphlet. Cool. Oh yeah, that little toe thing. Yep, there we go, copied into the pamphlet. Okay, inspected. Good. Now, explore again. Got it. Seamstress story. There's a local legend about a heartbroken seamstress. One stormy night, she broke into a local inn and stitched the unsuspecting guests together. Her final gruesome artwork. But that's just a legend, right? Check out the sewing machine. I didn't like that. Perception check success. On the sewing machine, you spot a strange engraving. When you get closer to investigate, your mind is flooded with forbidden knowledge. You leave the room quickly. Ooh, I got a seal of Bromel. Plus one knowledge, cost is four reason. Hmm. Yeah. Cool, all right. Light up the fireplace. <laughs> So what time is it? It's 11? Light up the fireplace. Perception check failed. You couldn't find any firewood to add to the fireplace. Hmm. Doesn't need to be successful, don't worry. Okay, I tried. And now explore again, I assume? Get the cleaver from storage. Where? Ah, check the wardrobe. Meat cleaver. Good. Excellent. All right, back to the dilapidated corridor and explore again. I think. Ah. Explore again, because I don't think there's anything else we can do. Time to explore! Actually, yeah, let's sell the new cleaver. The round window of the Crooked Manor Tower is calling you. You feel your strength drain away as you stare at the bright light. I can't fight this feeling anymore. Branch Hand says I'd take the painkiller. All right. Let's use it. Uh, Get lost in the light. Let's get lost in the light. We've got pretty good stuff now, right? Hmm. Ah. Nah, I want to fight the feeling. Charisma check. Success. Just one glimpse of the Eldritch landscape is enough. You manage to cover your eyes and move to where you can't see the damned window. You feel sick, but at least you're safe for now. Ooh, experience. Good. Oh, and minus one reason. Great. Alright, what does it say to do at 12 a.m.? Pray over the body. Clap, bow, bow, bow. And it's fucking gone. <laughs> Great. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. All right, well, let's go to the study. Cool. It seems that someone has already removed all the furniture from this room. The overgrown plant is casting an unsettling shadow. All right, great. Cool. Do I just explore again then? Yeah. Yeah, I guess it's just explore again. Cool. Screaming Cat says explore again, yep. 
The whole building begins to shake as you enter the room. Suddenly, a stone pillar bursts through the floor where you stood just seconds ago. Noticing the arcane symbols painted on the stone, you take a step closer. Touch it. Touch it. Triple check. Oh, I don't know what that means. I'm sorry, new with silver wings. I don't know what triple check means. Let's take a drink of water while I wait for chat to catch up. Ah, an event that checks three different stats. Got it. Okay, touch the stone. Dexterity check success. When your fingers touch the stone, the symbols disappear. That's a good thing, right? Uh, you manage to find one of the guests. They are shaken, but otherwise safe. You both decide to get the hell out of this place, but the door is gone. Sotomura nervously scratches his scar. So, 1 a.m. 1 a.m. is nothing. Just explore. Yeah, cool. Awesome. You feel watched. It's probably the, the eyes do it. Yeah. Dradhoff has subscribed and has done so for 17 months. You retreat from the room, minus two reason. Great, thank you game, thank you very much. And 2 a.m. is now feed the plant in the study with blood. Feed the plant. You cut your hand and pour some of the blood on the soil. Hopefully that's enough. Minus one stamina. All right. And then I guess it's explore again. Burp, burp. You were startled when you discovered that headless body. You were horrified when you saw its head hanging in the middle of the room and laughing. Eh, gross. I think I can hit this animated head. Yeah. Yep, let's kill it. Here we go. Uh, brace attack this turn. Defensive actions. Brace for impact. Brace just once, got it. All right, strong attack. The animated head wraps its hair around you. Great. Now just regular attack. Cool, awesome. Thank you very much for the help, everybody. Found an item, black hair. Occult Flesh. Use Combines with Sewing Kit. I think I'll just throw that into storage. And cover the mirror in the storage room. Oh, what's up, buddy? Cool. <laughs> A pair standing next to the window. This reminds me of one of my books. Okay. This is just more exploring, by the way. Got it. Okay, cool. Thank you. Thank you, Screamy Cat 125 There's a local legend about a heartbroken seamstress. So now I can rifle through the cover. Jesus, I just got rid of the black hair. Motherfucker. <laughs> I found you at last, she says. Ooh, very cool. Oh, what a great effect. Good job, bud. As the vigil is nearing its end, the whole mansion shakes more and more until the walls start to collapse, revealing the shocking truth about your whereabouts. Neat. 
The walls of the corridor collapse, revealing an alien landscape. You can taste blood in your mouth as the slimy appendages slowly get closer. Nice. A voice in your head tells you what to do. Carve the curse symbol. The bloated corpse of your uncle slowly floats into the room as the remaining walls collapse. The contract is not over yet. Horrible old man. Cheated death twice. Fantastic. Screaming Cat 125. Are we going for A or B? B is the one I don't have, I think. B is just sacrificing one guest during the fight. Oh, all right. Let's see, support actions. Combat skill, where is that from? Support actions, right? This action requires an ally, look for an improvised weapon, combat skill. One time use in offensive. Oh, it's in offensive actions. Attack boost, prepare your attack. Ah, sacrifice the other guest. Well, let's do it. Sacrifice that guest. <laughs> Turn two begins. Now we just hit him. Bap, 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 bap. Cool. He's got 15 hit points. And I think we got him next turn. Cool. Awesome. I love all the math in this game. It makes me happy. The contract is void. A voice booms in your head as everything gets dark. When you wake up, you find yourself lying on the grass. An old mansion nowhere to be seen. Next to you are the bodies of killed guests. Your head spins. Everything feels like a bad dream. Was the man claiming to be your granduncle really trying to cheat death itself? You've somehow stopped the ritual, but with your co clothes covered in blood, you'll have a lot of explaining to do. As you walk through the forest, you are trying your best to clean yourself from the blood and forget the nightmares you left behind. The one thing is certain, though, you will never open letters from law firms from Tokyo. And 30 XP, 15 XP, minus 3 Doom, and plus 1 Reason and Stamina. Excellent. And let's level up first. Running Shoes. Ooh, Dex. Faster Offensive Actions. Oh, that seems good. Yeah, Fast Swimmer seems real great. And I think we can afford to put strength up. Excellent. The old god stirs. Store closed. The friendly dog disappeared last night. You will have to find a new place to buy equipment. So what do we got? We got store closed, cut off from the outside world, fetid fumes, school burned down, and riots. Okay. Okay. Now home. Take the key. Take a fucking bath. Oh. All right. Y'all still get, um, uh, you're all still getting, um, uh, sound? My headphones just cut out. I want to make sure you're all getting sound. Nope, sound cut. One second. Be right back. We're going to fix that. Just give me one second. We're going to...
Just a second, looking for my other headphones here. Well, crap. Oh, motherfuckers. All right, let's see what we can do here. second. How's that do you? I might not have, uh, I might not have sound, but that should set you up with sound. Nope. No sound? Well, shit. <laughs> what the fuck are those headphones? Well, uh, yeah. That sucks. Well, looks like we're going to finish this up with no sound. Shit. <laughs> Damn it. Because I can't find my other... Uh... Yeah, you know what? Hmm. Well, I tried a clever solution and that didn't work. We're going to play without sound because I want to, I've never had this successfully run and uh, unfortunately, yep, looks like we're just playing without sound. I'm so sorry. Uh, my phone, my headset that I was using ran out of battery. I thought it was at full charge. Well, that bites. Now it's so quiet. Hot water, extra stamina gained. What do I need? Do I need stamina? What the fuck was that? Everybody saw that, right? <laughs> like I... Right? The, fucking shit. <laughs> cool. Alright, everybody else saw that. That's good. Good. I'm glad I'm not the only one. Shit. Fuck me. Okay, great. That was good. 
Okay. All right. All right. Do I need reason? What do I need? What do I need? New pair of pants because that guy scared the shit out of me? Yep, that's what I need. That's what I need. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's go with the uh, reason. Fuck was that? Shit. Uh, Reborn Flame said, how worried would we be if we said we saw nothing? Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, no, de <laughs> I would definitely be like, oh, okay, that's great. Great, 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 great. Cool, 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 cool. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. We took a bath. We took a bath. I guess we'll do that last mystery, please. Far out fable of a fear festival. Your aunt sent you a letter inviting you for a curious sounding festival. It's held every 27 years in a small village. You don't like the sound of it, but your parents both agree. You need a break from all the stress. Inside the letter, there's a bus ticket. What's the worst thing that could happen is the shittiest thing. Um, Screaming Cat says, do you want advice on getting the A ending or figure it on your own? Yeah, just give it to me. <laughs> What's the worst that could happen, you ask yourself, as you board the bus? Speaking of which, uh, we're doing Desert Bus this year, so keep an eye on all of the Desert Bus for Hope social media channels. Uh, Yizrid's going to be doing a thing for it, and I will be one of your entertainers along for the ride. Uh, today's goal, explore the weird village. Just when you thought your stomach couldn't handle it anymore, the janky old bus stops at its destination. You get up and take a deep breath before looking around. It's a small village and the nearby fields are surrounded by a thick forest. Someone is waiting for you. Uh, help me. <laughs> Uh, a fat man wearing dusty overalls approaches you. It's the inn owner who promised to pick you up. Following close behind him, your eyes are drawn to his hands, which are so deformed they resemble claws more than hands. Day one, morning. Your group has arrived in the village and is currently unpacking at the inn, giving you some time to explore. Festival begins at evening. To progress this mystery, choose actions that will advance the clock. As you learn about the terrible secrets of this village, more on actions will unlock. Woo! Woo. Woo. Okay, so skip time advances the clock. Where the fuck are... The hell are the options? Oh, they're on the screen. <laughs> Explore the weird village. Check out the inn. Let's check out the inn. That's a free action. I like free. Free is good. In rooms, inn's room is dusty like it hasn't seen any visitors in years. You wonder if anyone's cleaned it since the last festival 27 years ago. There's a folder of available activities lying on the table. Onsen sounds good. Hot spring feels great. Finally, you can relax for a bit and enjoy the warm water. Most excellent. Check out the inn. I'll relax a bit. You patch up your wounds and enjoy the nature. Plus one reason and stamina. Fuck yes. Oh, it's a free action, but it still advances the clock. Shit. Okay. Okay. Now what do I do? Explore the weird village or enjoy the festival. Mm. Ugh. Enjoy the festival. Okay. There's still some time before the festival starts. The locals are seemingly busy setting up stands and decorating the place. Few stands are already open, but you can't shake off the feeling something is wrong. It's getting late. Enjoy festival, buy souvenirs, look for friends. Let's look for friends. You stumble into your friend Iwa. Hey, I'm trying to solve a puzzle. Can you help? Minus three reason if agreed, but 
I get to bring along that sweet Dwayne Johnson. I will help my friend. Today's goal, learn more about the festival itself. A weird sound wakes you up. You step closer to the window and look out. You can't see anything and get ready to go back to bed when suddenly the moon comes from behind the thick clouds. Three hooded figures are standing at the forest's edge one by one. They light their torches and disappear behind the trees. What was that about? Who are they? They all wore strange masks. Should you follow them into the forest or try to find more information about the festival? Well, we're going to have to go into the forest, I think. Uh, Screaming Cat 125 says, also for the A ending, you need to go to the forest three to four times before it forces you into the forest. All right, cool. The suspicious group you've been following is gathered in a nearby forest. They're enacting some sort of a ritual in a clearing up ahead. The only nearby vantage point is a large rock. Attempt to climb it. Strength check failure. Bitch, I got strength 11. Man, fuck. Game, shit. <laughs> you fall down and injure yourself. Luckily, you manage to limp away unnoticed. God damn it. <laughs> well, let's go back into the forest, I guess. Wait, Iwa. Let's talk, buddy. He's a chef. Because can you smell what he's cooking? Iwa smiles faintly. I'm the best. That's right. That's right, you are the best. Let's go back into the forest. You've encountered campsite. You discover an old campsite located in the edge of a small clearing. The tent has been knocked down, and the food and utensils have been scattered everywhere. <clears throat> Investigate the ground for clues. Perception check. Success. Footprints and tracks suggest a fight. The owner of the tent must have been dragged by two unknown attackers into the woods. Resolve this event. Chocolate. Forest. Walking through the forest, you spot a pair of legs sticking out of a bush. Before you can do anything, however, they twitch and move. Bark woman! Hmm. 24 hit points. Three turns. Fuck yeah. I wouldn't do that. Mm. I think we can do more than that, actually. Hmm. I actually think it's better if I do quick attacks. Nope, it's not. Okay, cool. And we'll save that. And we attack. And more chocolate. Bark Woman hits you with a root. Well, fine. Goodbye, Bark Woman. Resolved combat. Today's goal, who the fuck knows? Going back to the inn, you overhear two masked villagers. They're talking about something awakening up in the next dawn. You wonder what's up with that? It's not safe here. You decide to block the entrance to your room with a nightstand. Festival is ending tomorrow and you can't be too careful. Okay. Oh, whoops. Oh, I made a mistake. This is toffee. Shit. 
I've gone into the forest. I'm talking with my mouth full. Mmm. <laughs> you have a feeling that you're being watched. And when you hear a branch snapping, you quickly turn around. There is someone standing in the trees just a few meters away. Um. Fuck them. Luck check. Failure. Good. God, we took those perks. Good job, luck. The decomposing skin and vacant stare can only mean one thing. It's a corpse someone has propped up. The idea that someone could do it so close to you and so quietly makes you shudder. Resolve this event. Brand Chan says this is the best. You should come by more often. We're a good fucking time. Uh, we're doing on Thursday at 5 p.m. Uh, we're finishing up uh, um, uh, Final Fantasy VII Remake. I'm going to eat more chocolate. Fuck it. I dumped a big pile of it out, and I shouldn't be doing that, but I will simply work out harder tomorrow to make up for it. You know what? Fuck it. That's not enough. It's Halloween time. More chocolate. Yeah. You know what? That's not enough either. No. No. Mmm. Mmm. I eat it all at once. I don't give a shit. Oh, shit. We did the toffee thing again. Well, fuck. It's Cadbury. I'm gonna go to the festival and buy some shit. Buy souvenirs. Mmm. Kayaki, plus one reason, that's nice. Jewelry, plus two luck, I do like that. A hoppy, plus one luck. And holy candles. Mmm. Yeah, find that candle. Cool. Alright. Where the fuck is everybody? Well, everybody dead now. Oh, that's not good. God damn it, boss. This is just incredible. Today's goal, find the missing people. A trail of blood and sickly smelling sludge leads to an outskirt of the village. Somewhere in the dark forest, there's an answer waiting for you. Screaming Cat 125 says, Holy candles are godsend. Trust me. I trust you. You've played 400 hours of this game. Four actions until sunrise. You start to recognize some of the paths and rocks you've seen earlier. Nope. Forest time. While wandering through the woods, you discover strange carvings on one of the trees, and by the look of them, they were made recently. Could they be connected with the current mystery? Try to decipher the signs, and it opened up my eyes. We saw the sign. Nobody's going to drag you up, so get into the light where you belong. Knowledge check success, sure. But fucking stat we have 11 in, we can't pass. But knowledge, sure. Why the fuck not? Uh, Screaming Cat 125 says, no tent, only forest. Got it. Hey, you're certain the missing people were here. You're on the right trail. Plus five experience. Um, I like how the forest is kind of a face. That's nice. There's an eye. There's an eye. There's fucked up mouth things. <clears throat> Excuse me. Burpee time. Capture Ed. While exploring the factory, you are caught by masked people you've seen from the inn's window. Tied up, they bring you to the cult leader. We knew you'd come. You hear a raspy voice, your aunt's voice, coming from behind the priest's weird mask. She signals towards the door behind him. Our master is waiting for a final blood sacrifice. I'll struggle. Cool. Hmm. You're investigating carvings. Oh, what's up, big boy? <laughs> Hi. 
great. Well, we're dead. That's nice. Oh, with, look, at we have matching masks. <laughs> with a loud bang, the ancient horror disappears and the high priest falls to the floor, grabbing their shoulder. The last thing you see before blacking out are the beams of flashlights and a hand of a police officer saving you from fall, falling. Later that day, detectives interrogating you are confused when you tell them about the ritual blood and Eldrick being. The village is abandoned with no trace of blood anywhere. You are the only one seeing the ancient horror. Far out fable of a fear festival, ending A. Damn. Cool. Knowledge is key. Plus 30 XP, plus 15 experience, minus 3 doom. Plus 1 day. I got a level. I got a level. Discipline. Regain 1 stamina for all past event skill checks. That's pretty cool. Plus 1 perception and running shoes. I mean, stamina good. Stamina good. I think discipline's good if you get it earlier on in the game. It's got that longevity going on. Hmm. Oh, maybe too much chocolate. Excuse me. Discipline and reason are all you need. All right. Yeah, let's do discipline. And then reason. Boom. Let's do it. Old God stirs. Contaminated what hair? There's something wrong with tap water. It is black and oily with the tap water. It's black and oily and glistening, smelling like death. You hope it's just a temporary issue. Okay. Well, let's go home and we'll take a bath. We'll take the key. We'll take a bath. We'll use bottled water. Cool. I guess it's just the bathhouse now. I've never actually been to the lighthouse, so this is exciting. Nope, can't do that. How the fuck do I get out of here? Ah, back to the town screen. There we go. Enter the lighthouse. I really like that. I love how indicative that is while still looking very Japanese. Oh, we're pushing past the time we normally go. I've never been this far in the game. No, I want to keep. Uh, I, I want to keep going. This is the the first time I've ever gotten this far in the game, and it's thanks to you, chat. So thank you. Open padlock A, padlock B, padlock C, padlock D, and padlock E. Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> Enter the lighthouse. You finally made it inside the cursed lighthouse. Your gut is telling you two things. That whoever, or whatever, is behind the weird events must be on the highest floor of this place, and that you should run as far as you can. You're afraid. There won't be a way back once you start climbing these stairs. I'm being told by Screaming Cat, you don't need to rest at all. You can just go up, I'm pretty sure. All right, fuck it. Branchan agrees. Trail of blood, knives. Cool, that wall has a sphincter mouth. That's, that's great. That's the kind of butt that takes things in. Well, I mean, some butts can... I mean, some people are into that anyway. But this is not a good one. There's... There's teeth down there. It's not, it's not great. Following the winding staircase, you find a metal gate that blocks your way. It's locked, but you notice an electrical cable. It seems to connect to the door to a hole inside the central pillar. If there's a switch inside, you'll have to risk getting cut by the numerous glass shards and knives. Hey, guess where the light switch is? It's in the tooth butt. Great. Find a switch. Oh my god, I fucking passed. Great. Dexterity check success. You've managed to locate the door switch while avoiding the knives and glass shards. Continue clamming. Come, Iwa, we go. 
Following the winding staircase, you are stopped by a metal gate. The tiny page nailed to the gate explains that opening the gate will require you to grab two metal rods. Using your own body as a natural conductor, you will power up the gate. Great. Grab them rods. Knowledge check passed. Woo. You are about to grab the rods when you notice the dials and buttons. You toy with them for a bit before adjusting the voltage and current so it's safe for you to grab them. With a buzz, the gate opens. Also, little secret, you aren't rolling anymore. These are static checks. Oh, cool. Ah, uh, conspirant. Delinquent girl. You're stomped by a girl wearing dirty black, wearing a dirty black school uniform. I'm sorry, but I can't let you go any further, she says, reaching for her bag. It's too late anyway. You instinctively take a step back when you notice a knife in her hand. You have to think fast. Try to reason with her. Not enough charisma. You try to talk her into allowing you to pass, but suddenly she raises the knife and slices right across her own throat, nearly de decapitating herself. You carefully step over her body, minus two reason. Yee. I have never seen any of this before. Following a winding staircase, you are still... Wait a minute. Someone broke into your apartment, stole all the clues and newspaper clippings, and pinned them here. The more you study them, you discover you can't remember any of them, except one. Select the title of a mystery you investigated as the second one. Fuck you, game. Fuck you, game. Fuck. It's the mermaids. Okay, awesome. Great. Thank you. <clears throat> Correct answer. You rip the newspaper clipping of a case you seem to remember. Underneath it, it's a tiny button. You press it and, with a buzz, the gate opens. Thank you very much, everybody. Following the winding staircase, you find a metal gate that blocks your way. A cable that should be powering it is currently disconnected. The power box itself is covered in a weird, moist goo. Just inhaling the fumes makes your eyes itch and water. But to power the gate, you'll need to disconnect a faulty plug. String check. Success. Yes. Weird goo burns your fingers, but you quickly manage to separate the faulty plug and connect the proper cable. With a buzz, the gate opens. Continue climbing. The dark clouds swirl above the lighthouse. Did you arrive too late? Ooh. As the unnatural fog slowly lifts, you are relieved and collapse on the floor. Hey. The next day, everything feels like a bad dream. You've managed to stop the ritual awakening, the elder old god, but what's... Yeah, stop the original, uh, ritual awakening of the elder old god, but what's done is done. It will stir in its slumber again and again until the stars are right again. Congratulations, you're safe. For now. I've never seen this screen! <laughs> Congratulations, you've survived. Uh, level 5, difficulty level cultist, carpenter hammer, ritual mask... World of Horror, Backstory World of Horror, Summit Old God, Incoming Doom, 80%. Excellent. Five mysteries, encounter, yeah, wonderful. Thank you so, so much, holy shit. Continue. Fan-fucking-tastic. Well, hell, yes. <laughs> Reborn Flame says, wait, surviving was an option the whole time? Everybody, thank you very, very, very much for helping me with that. Uh, d d fuck yeah. Uh, this has been our Halloween stream uh, here on the Yisbird Games channel. Uh, this has been World of Horror. There is, in fact, upcoming, uh, there will be a Halloween patch coming out. We don't have an exact date for it yet, but they are hard at work on it. Um, everybody that's involved with the game is working on it. We're putting things together to make sure that it's as successful and cool as can be. World of Horror is currently in early access, available on Xbox for uh, Xbox Game Pass for PC, and you can get it on early access for Steam. Uh, it's about 15 bucks in uh, North America, 17 bucks in Canada. It's about 15 bucks USD, no matter how that translates to anywhere in the world that you are, that you have access to Steam. Thank you very, very much. For joining me this evening, Neo Silverwings, thank you, Screaming Cat 125 Chat, just everybody in chat that helped, thank you very, very much for helping. 
Uh, hold on just a second. One more shout out to Brand Chan. Um, big, big helpers tonight. This is the very first time that I've done that. So uh, if you're new, throw us a follow, join the Discord. We're, uh, we're a shit ton of fun and very humble about it too. Um, so yeah, that's it for tonight. On Thursday, 5 p.m. Pacific, we're going to be continuing our run for our, uh, the, the Final Fantasy VII Remake. I had way too much fucking chocolate tonight. So thank you very, very much. Take care of yourself, take care of others, and as always, keep your spirit up. And we will see you on Thursday and around the Discord. Bye. Good night. Goodbye.